If you look back on the past year, have you grown in being a better friend to others? Are you a better friend today than you were a year ago? How can you grow to be a better friend? Keep watching to learn more. Hi, I'm Jen. And I'm Elisa. From Captivated by Him. It's been so much fun going through our friendship series about what biblical friendship is and how we can be godly friends to others. Yes, we have been learning about Christ's example of friendship and seeing how amazing it is that He extends friendship to people who sin and don't deserve His friendship. It's been encouraging to consider what friendship means from God's perspective and how can we reflect His love toward us in our relationships with our friends. In fact, reflecting God's love for us and His friendship with us is how we can be better friends to those around us. So one way you can grow in being a better friend is applying the principles you've learned in this friendship series so far. If you haven't watched the other videos in the series yet, you can find them linked in the description box below. And please like this video if you're excited to be a better friend to others. And don't forget too to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our future videos with important and practical truths about how to be a better friend. And another way to grow in being a better friend is to be ambitious. Are you ambitious in your friendships within the church today? Or are you just taking each friendship for granted without having a wholehearted desire to grow and be more encouraging to the Christians God has put in your life? Those are definitely some convicting questions. God tells us in His Word how important it is to be ambitious in our friendships in the church. And it says that in 1 Thessalonians 4, 9-10, which says, now as to the love of the brethren, you have no need for anyone to write to you, for you yourselves are taught by God to love one another. For indeed, you do practice it toward all the brethren who are in all Macedonia. But we urge you, brethren, to excel still more. Wow, this verse is interesting because Paul is telling the Thessalonian church that when it comes to loving other Christians around us, they have already been taught about it and they have already been practicing it. The Thessalonians were already doing well in their love for their brothers and sisters in Christ. Yet Paul exhorts them. In fact, he urges them to excel still more. The encouragement to the Thessalonians is to be ambitious, not just being satisfied with where they were at, but to be even more excellent, more loving in their friendships. That is such a high calling, to be ambitious in our friendships. And likewise, we should strive to excel still more in our friendships with others, always thinking about how we can be better friends. And consider this, God Himself is ambitious in His friendship towards us. His ambition is seen in how He befriended us even though we were His enemies. And more than that, He was so ambitious that He sent His own Son to die on the cross for those who did not love Him and to make them His friends. And we see this in Romans 5, 8, which says, But God demonstrates his own love toward us, in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. And by saving us, God made us into his friends, as John 15, 15 says, No longer do I call you slaves, for the slave does not know what his master is doing. But I have called you friends, for all things that I have heard from my Father, I have made known to you. When we behold how ambitious God was in making us His friends, we should be in awe of His love, and that should overflow into the ambition to be a better friend to our fellow sisters. Consider this question again. Are you ambitious in your friendships? The Thessalonians were already doing well in their friendships, but God still called them to excel more. Can you say you're loving your fellow friends in Christ to the utmost? Are you sacrificing your time, your resources, sharpening them, and putting their needs above yours to the utmost right now? Or are you currently not giving your best effort in your friendships? Wherever you are, do you have a vision for how you can love your friends better in every single one of your friendships? Wow, those are challenging questions. To add to that as well, do you reflect on what kind of a friend you are to the precious sisters God has put in your life? Do you have practical plans for how you can be building up each of your friends? Maybe you're wondering, what is a practical plan? What a practical plan is, is where you prayerfully and thoughtfully consider how you can build up your friends through practical actions that you're going to commit to in order to encourage them. Your practical plan can include things such as prayer every morning for a particular sister about a specific need they have, 
or committing to share a verse with your sister about something that they're struggling with or committing to follow up with your friend's prayer request. And these are just a few ideas. And there are many more practical actions you can do to love, encourage, build, and sharpen your friends. A few years ago, I came up with a practical plan to help a friend who was struggling with a specific sin issue. One practical action I committed to doing was to check in with her about that sin every week. So I set a weekly reminder on my phone to contact her to keep her accountable. And I also prayed for her on a weekly basis for specifically that sin issue. I also had verses about hope handy so that I could send them to her whenever she sinned because a common trend I saw was that she would get really discouraged and disheartened if she sinned. So each time I consistently remind her about the hope we have in Christ. And over the course of a year, she had grown significantly in that area and didn't need me to check in with her every single week. So we started shifting those check-ins to talk about other things that were going on in her life. And periodically, I still ask how she is doing in resisting temptation and fighting that specific sin. Wow, thanks for sharing that, Elisa. Praise God, that's super encouraging to hear how you were ambitious about your friendship and consistently allowing for so many opportunities to encourage your sister and remind her of God's word. That is so hopeful. And this encourages me too, to be a better friend to all of my friends. Can you imagine if we were ambitious in all of our friendships, then how bright of a light we could be to the world? Can you imagine how much more love and growth there would be in the church? That's so true! Sisters, let's examine our own friendships and create ambitious, practical plans for how we can love and build up each friend in our lives. And as we make those plans, let's remember how God has been so ambitious in His friendship towards us and praise Him for His great love. Allow God's amazing love for us to motivate us to grow in our ambition and be better and excellent friends. Please share it with us in the comments down below. One friend whom you want to grow in being a better friend towards and some ideas for how to practically plan to be a good friend. Be ambitious in your friendships. And until next time, stay, stay captivated. captivated. Practical tips for how to be a good friend. Buy Jen Boba. Buy Elisa new clothes. <laughs>